on the News at 11. Leslie. All right, Deb, one more note on immigration and DACA. We talked with Senate negotiators tonight. They say there is very little progress to report since the three-day government shutdown last week. So earlier we showed you the super blue blood moon over San Francisco. This was the view over Norway in a wow. town I'm not even going to try to pronounce. We couldn't decide which one we liked that better. Awesome. So we're putting them both on TV. Now it might look like we retouched this photo a little bit. Wow. But no, in fact, we did not. Looks like it's like from another planet, really. That's it pretty does. awesome. Yeah, it looks like it was painted. Yeah. Seen a lot of great pictures from all over the place, just none of them from here. No, yeah. see the hue on the snow. See, snow can be very beneficial. See that? Adds to the, to the photograph. Right. It right. looks barren. Well, it's it really look cold. It does look really barren. good seeing it in Norway. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, we, the we snow especially, in Norway. yeah. yeah we, we could <laughs> see a couple of flakes tomorrow night, and we could see a little bit of snow and then rain on Super Bowl Sunday. But first things first. Ah, the three degree. You know, I lowered it last night. Was that a good move? It was a great move. Okay. However, uh -oh. didn't lower it enough. <laughs> Went 42. It's only 37 today. It was 38 at Dulles. Warmer at Dulles than it was at National. We're going to go 51 tomorrow, which is actually a pretty benign start to the month of February. Right now it's 39. Oh. 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 It's 39 now. That means I verified. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. What was... Are you okay? I'm okay. I didn't realize it had gone up two degrees. That's awesome. That's oh. awesome. Uh, relative humidity, 45%. Winds out of the south at 15. They're going to be breezy now uh, tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be a warm breeze. So bus stop temps, 25 to 41. Kind of cold, dry. Yellow weather alert for tomorrow afternoon. Light rain possible for Thursday evening commute. Not all of us will have a wet commute, but some of us will. And it will be kind of in the breadbasket around 6 o'clock in the evening. And again, this rain could change very briefly to snow tomorrow night as Arctic air begins to pour in. I'll show you these models. This is more for Sunday. This is the European model and notice the snow is now pushed back to the north and the west because the storm track is now to our west. So that's the most aggressive model. The American model's got the accumulating snow even further north of us, really from upper Montgomery County, north and west. So we'll watch this carefully. The storm has a little more moisture right now, but as it gains moisture, it seems to keep going farther west. That will draw in more warm air and give us less snow and more rain. So that's what Super Bowl Sunday looks like here in the immediate metro area. For tomorrow morning, just a few clouds, 32 Gaithersburg, 36 downtown. By mid-morning, we're near 40 downtown, 38 in Bowie. And then by 1 o'clock, we're 50 downtown, and even 51 in Culpeper and 53 in Fredericksburg. By 5.30, here are the showers and the light rain across parts of the metro area. Just enough for a yellow weather alert. And then by the time we get into this time tomorrow night, some light rain across the metro area. And this is what may turn briefly to snow late tomorrow night. Will not cause any problems for Friday morning. So 30s to start, 39 by 9 o'clock, 44 by 11, and 50, pretty much cloudy uh, by 1 o'clock. But we're dry through at least 3 o'clock tomorrow. On Friday, as the Arctic air pours in, a flurry or snow shower possible early, 35 for a high, dress for the teens. We showed you those uh, wind chills earlier. Dress for the teens. 19 for a low downtown Friday night, which means about 10 at Dulles. And then 37, cold and dry on Saturday. On Sunday, starts out as snow, goes to rain. Kind of a miserable day, really, but we'll be inside watching TV anyway. And then maybe morning flurries on Monday, chilly Tuesday, morning flurries on Wednesday. We're back in the upper 40s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And if that holds on Friday, Buxatani may not see a shadow. He's only not seen a shadow 14% of the time. We'll see. Could be interesting. Yeah, we'll see. What do you think our new boy Alex Smith is going to think about uh, the three degree guarantee? I don't know, but I think your little moment Darren over there. was exactly right. It was a little older version of Kurt. I tweeted out the, the statistics; they're close, right. super close. So we got a change into the guard that we'll be talking about with the Redskins on the way. Members of the Eagles, uh, the Super Bowl in Minnesota, they think the Burgundy and Gold made a great move. We'll talk about it. Once standing tall across the country, Confederate monuments are coming down. But where they're going seems to be a secret. The WUSA 9 Special Assignment Unit hits the road to uncover the truth. Thursday at 11 on WUSA 9 News. Toyota has you covered no matter what the weather brings. Choose from a great selection of vehicles available with four-wheel or all-wheel drive to get you to your destination with confidence, including RAV4. Perfect for your everyday adventures. 4Runner, Toyota's most rugged off-road ready SUV. And Highlander, with the perfect plan.